Hey fish fans, it's the Norman Mermaid family here with a brand new video for you in mid-December. I am Raina, this is my husband Sean, and this is our son River. I am a professional mermaid. Sean is my merangler, which means it's his job to keep me moving when I'm on land because I don't have feet when I'm on land. <laughs> River is the boss, he dictates when everything happens. <laughs> Sean also does our underwater photography and all kinds of cool stuff and we manage a huge team of merfolk and when we're not running this mermaid empire we are also parents and on our channel we like to do things like reviews, unboxing videos, we try to get you some great discount codes and we give tutorials on how to do professional mermaid. And one of the cool things that we're going to be doing in the new year in 2022 is launching a new YouTube channel about being in the entertainment industry, trying to run a business, but also being parents because it's sort of like its own niche niche little reality of what it's like to manage a little person and then a whole bunch of big people that wear fins, right? <laughs> so you can check that out. It's The Mermaid Family. You can find it on YouTube, also themermaidfamily.com. We would love for you to subscribe because we're going to start putting out some videos for that in the new year. So today, River is going to help us. We have some boxes from our friend, the Mer Tailor. Yes! Big smiles. Yes, you've got kitty hair on your face. This is River's Mer Tailor tail. It's made to match Mummy's tail, isn't it? Yeah. Mer Taylor also has these cute stockings and I've had this for years. <laughs> so, so Santa <laughs> puts things in my stocking for me. And uh, yeah, and Mummy recently also had a birthday too. Yes. And Daddy got me an orca tail and we did an unboxing of that and we have some videos of it you can go check out as well. So this is kind of like our, our Christmas unboxing but instead of saying Christmas, what do we say? Fishmas. Yeah, Fishmas. You are so messy right yeah. now, bub bub. So I'm gonna unbox some stuff and talk about it. I've also got a couple accessories I wanted to show you. Sean's gonna pop in, and I'm sure River is gonna add his own two cents when he stops eating cat hair. Right, bud bud? You are eating so much cat hair. It is literally coming out of your face. <laughs> you want me to hold him while you move the boxes? Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. He's got his tail. <laughs> All right, put it on. Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. When COVID first started, just before, about two months before, we hired a bunch of new merfolk because a lot of our merfolk are kind of in semi-retirement because they're having kids like we did, or they have really demanding jobs like Mermaid Atlantica is a nurse. Um, Mermaid Kristen, she, in addition to mermaiding, she's an actress, she's a stunt actress, she's a circus performer, a fire performer, and a teacher. Uh, we all wear many different hats, so we needed some more people. And along this two-year process, we've added even more people. And because we've expanded, we needed more tails and fins that we could rent to the team members that don't yet have fins. If you look at different mermaid companies in the United States, like the Dive Bar, some of them rent mermaid tails from the Dive Bar. Or Circus Siren, a lot of them own their own tails. I, I don't think they rent as many tails. But it's sort of like a toss-up in between things, different companies. If mermaids don't have their own gear, they can rent it from you as a subcontractor until they make enough money to order their own. And here in Nova Scotia, in Canada, but especially in Nova Scotia, there's not a lot of people who already are established that we can hire. Some people have a little bit of experience, but we tend to train people from the ground up and outfit them in tails until they can get their own, which is, you know, it's kind of got pros and cons, right, buddy? Like you're going to be, <laughs> he's eating it. <laughs> you're going to be trained from the ground up. You're already in the water all the time. <laughs> yes, it in his mouth. Water baby. <laughs> yeah, you're so cute, Bud Bud. You are the cutest little fishy. Yes, you are. I contacted Candy to get my hands on some more fins because we've added some mermen. They have much bigger feet, so they can't always borrow my gear without hurting their feet because mine are ladies size nine and we have some men with giant feet in our team. You know what they say about giant feet, giant fins. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we've got. We really love using all the Mer Taylor gear. We recently were able to lower our insurance costs because we switched to the fabric tails for the majority of our work versus the silicone tails. 
a little less risk involved because you can get the fabric tails off so quickly and they're not quite as specialist when you need to repair them. So Mara Taylor has packing peanuts in here and I've, I've had people ask me before, oh, that's not very environmentally friendly, but they're not the regular styrofoam, they're the biodegradable plant-based stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Look, he's yeah. like your grandfather. Yeah, you got your pants up to your armpits, buddy. <laughs> he looks so cute, actually. Oh, mommy's distracted by how adorable you are. All right, so first up, we have this beautiful Fantasy Three in a larger size so that Merman Lagoon of the Deep and Merman Nova, otherwise known as David with the beautiful hair, can fit in it. I'm just trying really hard not to make a giant mess here. Big shout out to Blue, who does a lot of the packing and shipping, I think most of it. That's gonna be a lot of work. You, no wonder you're so muscular, Blue. Lifting this stuff all the time. All right, so I'm not actually sure what this color combination is. It might actually be a custom that was canceled and I jumped in there to buy it. it says, Reina, color, nothing, size large. <laughs> Your own color. It's my own color. So I dubbed this the Reina or the river. It kind of looks like it'd be a good river. This is hard to do without you. Oh. Is there stuff in here? Is this just paper? Paper. Okay. Whew. Ooh. Mummy is sore from carrying a baby all the time. That is stunning. So, this is gonna fit on Lagoon. His real name is Don. Please. <laughs> Why did you stick that in his mouth? Mm. <laughs> oh my God. Please check out Lagoon of the Deep on Instagram. He's one of our latest members along with Halifax Sirena. She's another one of our latest members too. It's really funny. I keep referring to our merfolk as the new merfolk, but my new team members have literally been here for two years. They just still feel new because of COVID. We've yeah. had such limited opportunities to do things. I think everyone's done at least one or two gigs now though. Oh yeah, probably by now. It's just, it's been rough folks. It's been rough. Yeah. Not out of the woods yet. No. Uh, yeah, this is freaking beautiful. And uh, thankfully the guys are all my size or smaller in the tail skins. It's already covered in cat hair. You gotta love that. What do you think, buddy? What do you think? What does that feel like? Does it feel like, really? Oh, and that's what you think of the texture? What about the color? What do you think of the color, BB? What do you think of the color? He is literally <laughs> eating so much cat hair right now. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, it's stunning and gorgeous and I love it. People are always asking me how to store their fins. We have no space in our apartment. When we get a house, we're gonna have a whole room that our mermaid stuff can go in. But for now, I literally just put the monofins flat on the floor and pile them on top of each other and make sure that the cats don't chew on them. Cats love chlorine and cats will, and dogs, chew the little tips off your fins. So you gotta be really careful. Okay. Now, I ordered a bunch of things, so I'm not sure. Oh my God. <laughs> um, Mer Taylor usually puts in little silicone pieces left over from the scraps and this is a little Christmas tree. I can't give it to you, buddy. It's too small. You'll, um, you'll uh, swallow, swallow that. Swallow it. She looks cool though. Now, the cats love these boxes. Is there a meme? Oh, that's just the... Uh, Might be in the other box. That's just the invoice. Well, it could be in Gregory's box too. Yep. Gregory did a live stream under his Merman Equinox Instagram account that you can check out of him unboxing a four. Also, I just saw Spider-Man today and it's so good. No spoilers, but if you're a fan of the MCU, so good. Oh, there's the meme. Me, I'm finally saving my money at Mer Taylor. We just released new tales. My bank account. This is so true. 
Do you guys ever have it happen that whenever you decide to make a big purchase, right after you make the big purchase and everything goes through, something crazy happens? And then why did I just spend all my money? That's what happened to us. We had the money for this, we spent it, it was all good, we were feeling good. Then we found out our insurance was going up 30% and we might not be able to book any more gigs because of COVID restrictions and it was, dang. That's life. Ooh, 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 what's this? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna start with these things and then I'll get to the fins because the fins are so big. What is this? Some surprises. Oh, is this like a Mertiller pillowcase? Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. Jellyfish design on one side and it's all iridescent. And a turtle on the other. Yeah. I think it's a pillowcase. That's what it seems like to me because the it wouldn't be a bag. Although I could use it as a bag. <laughs> I don't have a lot of pillows, but I will buy a pillow specifically for this pillowcase. <laughs> That's beautiful. Is this another pillowcase? It's also very pretty. River, you're gonna have Mer Taylor pillows in your bed. Did you literally just put him in that like a sack of mermaid tail? <laughs> it's perfect size. Dad's. It's perfect. Oh, this is beautiful too. Oh wow, look, sharkies. If you didn't know, Mer Taylor is opening an aquarium encounter in the new year, and I believe that the um gift shop is opening shortly. 20th of December, I believe. Wow, so check out the website, the Facebook group, uh, the Mer Taylor Pod, the official Mer Taylor Pod, check out the Facebook group. And Mermaid Vlogs lady, she has been visiting and she took video and stuff. Yeah, it looks amazing. Yeah, I keep these bags, <laughs> like a Mer Taylor bag hoarder. <laughs> How's anybody gonna pay attention to me with this adorableness right here? Mm. <laughs> Rivers for two. Okay, so we have some of the guppies here. I should have brought the linden fin over to show that it fits it. Anyway, we have two new guppies. One is in my size. This fits the mermaid linden fin, and Sean, I'll get you to put a picture of the linden fin in the video if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Ooh, this color! Oh, wow. This color is gorgeous! So these are his least expensive tails. You can get these and put a linden fin in it. It's nice and inexpensive. They've got them for adults and for kids and he just relaunched the guppy line. So I'm gonna be testing this out this weekend before everything <laughs> closes <laughs> for the Christmas break. Maybe River and I will do a bathtub photo shoot or something. Our colors are quite complimentary. Nice. So this one is gonna fit me and a bunch of my team members and it's gorgeous, gorgeous darling. Goodness, I love these new designs. Just beautiful. This one is gonna fit Allison, who is Mermaid Nova, and Emma, who is Mermom Emma, and probably Mimi as well. We'll have to get a second fin. Candy asked me if I had fins, and of course I was like, oh yeah, I have a fin. I wasn't thinking we'll need two. Oh right, yeah. But that's all right, they're 50 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, we'll get some more. Now this one matches Emma's daughter's Fin. Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, wow. Oh, the black light on that would be crazy. Yes! I'm listening to way too many shows where people say, yes! Yes! yes. I keep picking it up. I'm really bad with picking up those little dialect things. When I visit my southern mer friends, they all say y'all, which is not a Canadian thing. We say A. Jolly. And when I spend time with Vanessa, that's what I end up doing. She's from Louisiana, and I'm always she like, She probably says A when she goes home. <laughs> Beautiful. So this is an, an uh, this is an extra, extra large, and I think this is a new size they're trying out. Oh. So Emma and Nova are gonna be official testers for this. And Candy wants their honest feedback so that they can launch the size and make sure it's accurate for folks, which I think is great. So we'll see how we do with that. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tell me more, tell me more. Okay, Morphins. Mighty Morphins. Mighty Morphins. Ah, Murray Taylor. Look, there's another Christmas tree. <gasps> yes. A little blue one. Yes. Sean collects these things. He has a whole pile of them on his desk. Just goes to show you our Murray Taylor addiction. This is a Fantasy Fin, Fantasy Fin 1. And it's also, I believe, in a custom color. It's a uh, teal and peach. Listen, I get to tell you, I'm not, I don't care about colors. I always tell Candy, just send me what's available. Mm -hmm. But when I saw those rainbow fins wow. here in the official Martailer pod. It's so good. That and the kicks that were color shift. Yeah, the color shift stuff's Ooh, amazing. This stuff I need for my business. So I, I, I don't care about colors. I just want to get it here for the business. Those things, those are on my like wish list because yeah. they are gorgeous. Well, you almost don't want to put a tail on them, you know? Right? Uh, uh, because the kicks you wouldn't, but they're the... so beautiful. Yeah. I love the kicks. That was revolutionary for me with my pregnancy. I wear them every time we swim. Every single yes, time we swim. Yes, Sean hasn't hasn't not worn them yeah. since we got them. He They're wears so them every so much more comfortable week. than everything else. So. So this has glitter in it. It's gorgeous. This fits the fantasy skins that I got in my last video, along with the fantasy one stuff. Oh, that is really beautiful. It does that have new imprinting that I didn't notice before? Is this a new mold pole, guys? I'm gonna have to ask. I never noticed that before, that yeah. cross hatching. Yeah. Maybe it could be the colors just more noticeable. Look at those colors. This is almost like a camo. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, can you see the fin? No, you can't. It's John Cena. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Blah, blah, blah. Do you like it? <laughs> Yeah, I gotta tell you folks, running the business and being a mom is a lot of work. So dad's work. easy though. I got it easy. <laughs> <laughs> you have it hard too. You just don't make booby milk and you don't have to heal from a surgery at all. True. What's that? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Next we have a fantasy four. <laughs> Wow. I that. love the Fantasy Fours. They're so big. Now, I think that's everything. I can never remember what I've put in an order. So I'm just checking here. Oh, I love that there's a uh, post-it note with my name on it. I'm trying not to get these things everywhere. Uh, the, the Google oh, sure. thing is there. Just while I'm unwrapping this, this is not like an official ad endorsement or anything, but Sean and I got a Roku and man, it's life changing. Get, get you through the pandemic, let me tell you. So Dawn really likes swimming in our Fantasy Four and it fits him the best, but that means that if he's swimming in it, I can't swim in it. We are getting a whale sanctuary here next year. It's actually, it's built now. Um, they're doing more building. You can look it up online, the Whale Sanctuary Project. It's for retired belugas and dolphins. That's right. We're very against dolphin captivity. Uh-huh, you hear what you say? <laughs> so it's for them to be retired in an actual ocean setting, but still have access to vets and food because they're domesticated. They can't be re-released. All right, bud bud. Last one. We're almost done. So yeah, we want to do some work with them. We've reached out to them, so having more whale tails for that, I think is pretty cool. Now, when I say we reached out to work with them, we're not going to be swimming with belugas. The whole point is that these animals don't have to entertain us. We would do fundraising efforts for them to help cover the cost of taking care of the animals, right? Keep so them. this is a sunset custom color. Oh my gosh, I forgot how heavy these fours are. That's beautiful. Yeah. You like it? I've got a white four. What do you think, Bubba? Wow. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. They've all got that like new silicone feel to them. So we've got the four and the one. 
We got the new guppies. We got these cases. <laughs> I think I've never seen a pillowcase. It's mom brain is what it is. My brain couldn't find the words. And we've got the nice big three. I can't wait to put Donald in this and let him try it. Awesome. I also had a couple of little accessories I wanted to show you. First out, first off, I want to show you these beautiful earrings that Mermaid Tawala made me. They are traditionally beaded native style jewelry earrings because she is Helsic is her tribe. Yeah. She learned how to West make Coast. them. They're so gorgeous and they're my colors. They're amazing. They're so stunning. I just think her beadwork is amazing. Also, Sean and I went to a Christmas craft forum and I got these really cool elf ears that go, they're moldable metal. And I can't really put them on properly without a mirror, but I'll just like do it quickly just to demonstrate. You have to do it with a mirror and you like fit it properly to your ear, but you, you get the idea. I think they're gorgeous. And I think that if I wear them with a stud through the loop that they'll stay on. Uh, I also got a beautiful white wig and instead of putting it on I'm gonna get you to show the picture Okay, because it's just a lot to put on a wig and I got some different accessories for the wig. So this is my little Okay, Sailor Moon Black lady <laughs> the anime people get that reference So I got this to hold the wig on and I also got this I kind of all stemmed by the way from watching Lord of the Rings for the first time as an adult. Sean got me watching the extended versions, which I never saw, and I only saw the originals in theaters when I was like 16 when they first came out. Mm -hmm. I have to put it on using a mirror and whatever. It's all gonna go in the wig, you can look at the picture. I've got some wig tape here. You can get it on Amazon. People ask me a lot about it, it's double-sided. I've got a few video tutorials where I show how I do it. If you're curious, look under my Learn to Be a Professional Mermaid playlist. So there we go. Gives you an idea. You can stick it on wherever. <laughs> I've got baby. <laughs> That's right, buddy. <laughs> also, another great hack is I'm wearing eyeliner stickers. You can glue them on and they stay on underwater, which is really fun. Mine are made by Face Lace. You can get them from a couple different brands. But basically, this is where we are in life. Uh, we go, we do these swims once a week where we're training, we're doing photos. Sean is getting so good at his underwater photography. If you want to see it, along with tutorials for photo editing and pretty much everything under the sun to do with mermaids, you can check us out on patreon.com slash mermaid. We really appreciate that for as little as $2 a month. It ends up being like $20 a year instead of $24 because you get to save some dollars. Sand dollars. You can have access to all my wealth of knowledge that I share. We also have our own Discord chat, which is really great. I send out fishmas cards, postcards, little presents here and there. Patreon has some exclusive merch that you get if you go to a higher tier. At the highest tier, I do consulting and mentoring, but I'm taking a break from that until I can kind of balance motherhood a little bit more. Right now, he needs my attention all of the time. <laughs> And River is gonna be learning to swim in the new year. We are gonna do some baby swim lessons so long as it's safe, but he's already been in the pool since he was five weeks old and River is now four months old. Hi. A baby. A baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's been all over my face. <laughs> So yeah, that's the most I can think of for the time being. We're really excited to use this gear, but we do just have this one swim before everything closes for Christmas. I know, it's so sad that things are closing for mm -hmm. Christmas. And then with Omicron variant, uh, we're gonna have to see how the new year plays out. I'm not really sure what's gonna go on, but Sean's been learning how to use a backdrop underwater and all kinds of fun stuff. So I know our videos have been a little slow, but we actually are scheduling stuff that we're gonna be actively filming over the Christmas break and then editing up so that we have some more videos for you. We have a lot more swim footage behind the scenes. We have some tutorials. It just takes us a bit to get things out right now. We're still catching our stride, learning how to be parents. Somebody is in his sleep regression phase right now, so somebody doesn't sleep. <laughs> So that's where we are. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to get notified. Leave me a comment. Did you see Spider-Man yet? What did you think? No spoilers. <laughs> and
and check us out on social media and please subscribe to our new YouTube channel, The Mermaid Family. Fast fishes! <laughs> Yep. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Bye-bye. <gasps> Mommy loves you. Oh, I wish I was a mer tailor mermaid. That is what I truly like to be. Cause if I was a mer tailor mermaid, everybody would be in love with me. But they're already in love with you. Mm -hmm. Cause you're the cutest. Yes, you are. It's like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Hard to tickle through this tail. He likes it in the tub, it keeps him warm. Are you tapped out though, buddy? Are you ready to be done? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>